The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Welcome to Connor Commentary, a hilarious take on news, politics, sports, and current events. It's time to buckle up. Here's Connor. All right, guys, we are back, and we're on the second half of the year now. It's the 27th episode, and we have Jason Martin back. For the third time, right? Time number three, yeah. Time number three. Keep finding my way back here. I know, man. I appreciate it. You still doing a ton of comedy? A lot, yeah. Do you have any good jokes for us? Or <sighs> I don't have any good jokes in general. Say man. something <laughs> funny. Be for, funny. Be funny. For anybody. I wish I could. That's what everyone tells you, right? <laughs> People have asked, like, to, like, oh, like, tell me a joke. I'm like, it's not, I, no. It's you not know, like rap you music. It. It's you know, nothing you, like, like, like... You got a freestyle on the spot, so you don't yeah. have any freestyles? It's a lot less like rap than I thought when I got into it. <laughs> I thought it was very similar to rap. No, now, now, <laughs> now everything's way different. Also, we have a major announcement next week, right, Ed? It's going to be a huge one. Huge. It's going to be huge. Little it's going to be a bombshell. People are going to be dumbfounded, so make sure you tune in next week because it's going to be crazy. Wow, well, they might just be dumb. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I or, or it might be terrible. I'm not trying to characterize your audience yeah but what are you trying to say about the people who watch the show Ed? i'm i'm not sure i mean over under iq 100 is that good i don't know i think 100 <laughs> i don't know i think 100 is good right i don't think i know it's not particularly great it's not, it's not great. great i think the average college graduate comes in around 115 oh 115 we graduated college we're not that smart right? no i don't know I didn't. Uh, do I, mean, I guess if I don't know if a hundred's good, probably. Not. <laughs> we, we, we I don't, don't know. really know what's on the are, scale. Are you fellows the product of a state school education? I am. Explains a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> carry on. <laughs> and that's good for me. I made it far, man. I came yeah. by Methuen High. All right. Whoa, yeah. the mean streets of Methuen. Yes, you'd be surprised. There's no walls in that school. They're getting meaner, I think, a little <laughs> bit. Are, yeah. <laughs> as, as time they're, goes they're on. They're not getting less mean. <laughs> That's definitely a good point, yeah. <laughs> they're turning a little more like Lawrence week by week, I, I think. I think it's, yeah, there's like part of it is turning into, I think it's just turning into two different towns almost. Pretty much, yeah. There's the- uh, It's the Methuen segment. The Methuen segment, yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> you just live update every single week the status of Methuen. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> I think there's a guy that does that, right? On the show, Ed? There's somebody who does Methuen every week? Uh, yeah, Tom Duggan Tom does Tom Duggan. A, a so if you want to know about Methuen every week, watch that. And, you know, we'll a lot of it is just, uh, let's call them the political antics. Yep. Because- there's some fucked up shit going down in Methuen. Is there? <laughs> yeah. I, I know that like there is. I just don't pay that close attention. Yeah. Pretty sure a kid that was on my baseball team is like an elected official. And he's like, Ooh, why? Really? I'm pretty sure. Because I randomly was like, why am I watching like a live town hall meeting on my Facebook? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't even live in Methuen. <laughs> no. And I was like, oh, I know that kid. Who, who is it? Do you know? Uh, I got to look it up. All right. Yeah. There are and a few people. I could yeah. check him out and see if he's one of the problems, and he, I'll get yeah, back to be. you. Yeah, yeah like you would know, Ed, right? Yeah. You must have tuned in because you're you're here for all the episodes. <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes I'm a little tuned out, even though I'm producing <laughs> okay. the episode. But I, you know, I pick up a thing. I think you'd be plugged into all the drama. Oh, I know what's going on. I figured. Oh yeah. All right. Speaking of drama, we got Buford <laughs> back for what is this? The fifth week? I think he keeps <laughs> coming, and it's an and it's always an email, and it always starts and ends the same way. So let's see. He sent me two emails back to back this week, like one right after the other. Let me see. Dear Mr. Connor, perhaps it is your Yankee accent. He always calls us Yankees. I don't know. It's like it's 1848 or right. when, was, when was the Civil War? <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, we don't 18, know right? It'd be more like 1860s. When did it end? 65? 65. 65. Like yeah, I remember that. That was the Yankees, right? I know the New York Yankees is what I'm thinking of. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, there, there was a whole thing. We got to talk about that, right? by the way, right? What? Your opinion on the Boston, current Boston Red Sox situation? No, just Jackie Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Man, I don't even, I don't care what team he's on. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll address that <laughs> Oh, after. my God. Connor, are you heading racist again? I mean, no. you've been accused oh, of I, it. Sh- that was, that was a long time ago, yes. By so what week was that? Uh, I don't uh, know. It was your racist week. <laughs> uh, that was, the racist week was probably like week. 13, 14, oh, I want to guess. Yeah. Wow. But so I, it was just a random person who yeah. said this show is really racist. And they, they were from <laughs> they were from the central Visayas. You know where that is? 
No. <laughs> Apparently, it's a uh, island off the coast of the Philippines. <laughs> How do they find? Like, that was on Twitter. Oh, my God. Some random ass kid. I'm is, like, what is this? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter is a cesspool. Twitter is, is a serious absolute cesspool. Absolute insanity you know, on Twitter. I got to say. Um, <laughs> Twitter's the worst. It's the I, wild, I didn't wild west. see a hint of racism. Then this is the comment of the week. Yep. And then your guest, that particular week, starts doing a bad Chinese <laughs> sex. <laughs> yes, oh. he did. Yes. <laughs> About the casinos, too, of all things. So, here we go. Who's so, Yes, uh, my my buddy who works at the casino down the street. <laughs> oh my! God. That casino is insane. Have you been so, there? I went when it was at the Rockingham Racetrack. Like yep. that, was, that place was filled with asbestos. I think that was insane. <laughs> yeah, that all they did was move like across the street. Yeah, people were managing to like go bankrupt on. You could only bet two dollars a hand, but they just stayed for so long. I was gonna like, say, how is yeah. it happening? If you spend forty hours a week there, you'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah you can lose your money. Right. So I, th- I think that's what <laughs> happens a lot. Oh, man. All right, let's let's read this email. We got yeah, two, and I like we got Mr. Two of them. Connor. Mr. Connor, that's how it always yeah. starts. Do you think this guy's real, by the way? I'm gonna take a straw poll at it and see if anyone comments. I are, don't, there, are there coherent sentences? Because they, they are not, coherent I would, sentences. Yeah. I would lean towards Pat O'Leary, but now I don't know. He, there's no way his punctuation <laughs> is pun- good, yeah. right? <laughs> He has, he has to be real because none of my friends could write this 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 accurate. I mean, some of the sentences aren't capitalized. <laughs> I, it, this is from Alabama, so you never know. Yeah. He's upset. We, we've been pronouncing the, the state of Alabama or the, the town he's in wrong. What, what's the town? Says here, um, I must correct your pronunciation of hometown of Vernon, Alabama. Try a phonetic pronunciation, Vernon. So we're Vernon, and I think I'm saying Vernon. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know the difference there. Congratulations on your six month anniversary of the show on the internet. Here we go. On again. Here we go again. Your mama's cake looked delicious. My mama said you can't be all bad if your mama that bakes you a cake. This is Pat. Talk, talk to you soon. Respectfully, Buford T. Myers. Right. Pat's like the only kid I know that says mama. Like he says <laughs> yeah, it in his mama. daily life. Who would say it's, that? It's Pat. Your mama. <laughs> That's Pat. Yeah. And then we go again, dear Mr. Connor. I forgot to mention how I found you on the internet. I was doing some research on a fellow Southern gentleman named Eugene Bull Connor and found your show. Funny how the internet works. Sincerely, Buford T. Myers. (laughs) But I don't know because I don't know O'Leary would know who Eugene Bull Connor is. Right. It's a guy from the Civil War, I think. Yeah. Yeah. O'Leary, no. No, right? not. He should have came on today. I know. We tried to get him on. Because then we could have watched his eyes as you read this and really <laughs> That's figured true. it out. You know what? We'll put him on a lie detector. We'll get him up here. They're not that expensive. I looked it up recently. It was like 150 bucks. <laughs> you need the technician. You need That's the guy to be need. with it because that guy is the one that reads the lines. We don't That's know what true. those mean. Yeah. Ed, you can 100% do that, right? Yeah. If you can I'll do, do this, you can read a lie detector <laughs> yeah. test. Uh, I mean, I'll figure it out. That's, that's what I figured. If we had you there, you could just, <laughs> I can't you could just find, tell. I can't find Buford T. Myers. Uh, you know, it all goes to Buford T. Justice. Buford T. Justice. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I will, ha- I will have my executive producer look this up. <laughs> <laughs> and my executive producer is Ed. <laughs> or I will have my attorney take a look at this. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't have an attorney either, do I? No. <laughs> I, well, you I got Craig. You had, yeah, Craig, Craig, Craig will do it. Yeah. Craig can he, Higgins. Can he is... look into this and see if this is a real person? <laughs> Get him on it. All right. Well, we'll start looking at it. All right. What did you want, what did you want to say about Jackie Bradley Jr.? <laughs> you told me before the <laughs> show we were going to talk about him. <laughs> no, I, he, you messaged me and were like, oh, like, you got any time to come on? I was like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're like, what do you want to talk about? It's like, just Jackie, Jackie Bradley <laughs> Jr. No, for I mean, half hour. I don't want to sound, this, I hope this is an exaggeration, but is he the worst baseball player in the world? <laughs> as far <laughs> as hitting goes, he's got to be up there. I don't know. I just can't believe he's still in the Red Sox. It's it's insane. I can't believe that they paid him $10 he's million. A, dollars. He's a career 220 hitter. Which is good for him. <laughs> every softball league ever has someone who can make all the catches he can make. It's not like, <laughs> yeah. like you just see there's one guy like he could do that. Yeah. I could like two less catches a year. We could have a good hitter for two. Yeah. And what do those catches equate to? The problem is, is that practice. He is one of those guys that you just see like running and you're like, wow. Yeah. He, or he'll, like, he can like throw the ball out of Fenway, which is like not a skill that like matters. Yeah. We, we don't need you to be able to. <laughs> He's throw always it. like juggling in the dugout. They're like, oh my God, we got to keep Jackie Bradley. Like who's going to juggle? I'm like get rid of him. Get it's all about ri- persona or something, man. It's just, it's, it's like, I mean, this is not a good example, but like when you, when you must like watch like someone, someone like Randy Moss without Randy Moss's skill practice, when they just like, just doing push ups. Right. Like, you gotta get this guy on the pads. <laughs> he's, he's six foot four. He runs a four three. Yeah. But he can't catch. He's just like some, I'm trying to think who's like a good equivalent to that. 
like from a different sport that you, they just keep getting tricked with how athletic he is. Right. You know what I mean? Like he's just like a gym class guy. Like right. Jackie Bradley's probably good at, <laughs> he's probably like good at basketball. And they're like, well, this also counts I too. Mean, you know what I mean? He was Cl- great climb the school. ropes at gym yeah. class yeah, yeah. or something. I'm sure he's like, they play flag football. He wins like, oh, we got to, like he, it's, it's all non sequitur <laughs> stuff that keeps him around. Cause then when it comes down to actually hitting, oh. yeah, he's, he, he he goes below 200 sometimes. He's like the only guy on the team that has like a shiny bat, and I'm convinced <laughs> that that has something to do with why the ball like slides off when he tries to swing. He is so he had a couple timely hits in the World Series, I think, or in that playoff. It was run yeah, it was before the World Series. It was um the what's it called the. Uh, What's the semifinals? Like the ALCS? Yeah. Yes. He had like that grand slam. Yeah. And then I think he had a, another home run. But if I remember correctly, those were the only two hits he got the entire thing. So he went like two for 14, but he hit like two clutch hits. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, I mean, it's every year. He's like, he's like, the, I was arguing with an old guy on Facebook and he was like, <laughs> he's throwing like, def- he's like, you don't understand baseball. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But like, I don't want, I understand what 220 is. Yes. And I was trying to look up like where he ranks all time. He's like among pitchers for hitting. Like right. He's so low. Like Bronson Arroyo might have him beat, right? Oh, probably. Probably. Bronson, yeah. Bronson probably Arroyo kind of hit. He probably bet like four. He was leading the league for, I think, one game one time because he had two home runs in like the opening game. Did he really? Yeah. I think it was Bronson Arroyo that. Yeah. That I remember that. that, dude. He's also the guy who planked uh, A Rod. Yeah. And started the fight with Jason Veritek. There, See, that's there, how I remember. I, I don't watch this nonsense anymore called you, the Red Sox. But you don't watch? No, just looking at the stats, he must have. Got his contract after the 2016 season. It's yeah. the only reasonable season he had. Well, they just yeah. they just resigned him and paid him 10 million bucks. I think they just resigned. I him? think the last year, if I remember correctly, wow. like this, this for, for hitting t- 225 last right. year. It's so bad. I think they just want him so they can put those slideshows of all the great catches he makes on like the Red Sox. Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like we need this for publicity, and then when people see it, maybe they'll buy tickets. Like, what is no. like? Is he is he a fast runner? Because like maybe if yeah. you got a faster guy, he doesn't have to dive. Like he just. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I think I think he's pretty fast. The Red Sox are also doing this thing now, which every major sports team is doing. Like, remember, obviously it started with 24-7, yep. which is like one of the best series ever for hockey and for football. Um oh no, hard knocks is football. Hard knocks is football, yeah. But hard now like everyone real. has one. So Do like, they really at, like the I Red Sox have one. one. It is, and I'm a diehard Red Sox fan. It is so cringeworthy. Like to what do walk. they follow? They're just trying to like pick a guy on the team who's funny in spring training. So they'll yeah. follow around like uh, Michael Chavis or whatever. Yep. He is the weird, like he's not, he's just like trying to say like funny baseball terms. Yeah. Everyone's like, this is so bizarre. <laughs> I watched this two episodes out. The other one, they followed JD, who like couldn't have wanted to have a mic on him more, like less. Yeah, right. Like, everyone was like, hey, JD, JD, autograph. And he's like, I have to stretch. Like, yeah. He's like, the <laughs> most serious guy. I'm like, why are they doing this to themselves? But Oh, God. Yeah, I think all JD Martinez wants to do is practice and hit. And like, I don't like, think watch himself on like a phone. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. just he like, no like that's what, he's just a robot for baseball. Right. Like they had another thing. I mean, now I'm going off tangent, but they had another <laughs> thing with like JD showed you around his house. And he was just like... As a part of the show? <laughs> this was like it was a separate thing. <laughs> okay. But I obviously, I'm watching it, so I guess that's like on me, but he's yeah, just like, like... we got a ton of viewers. He was just so uncomfortable doing it. And I'm like, well, I guess he kind of wanted to do it, but he got his Christmas tree delivered. And he's like, this is my Christmas tree. And yeah. like, right. it was just very bizarre. What is it? Like an awkward version of MTV it's, It is. It is. It's, it's exactly like, that. He's like, this is like everyone... <laughs> This is like, my fridge. It's like everyone that comes in my house has to hit this gong that I got in Thailand, and then he smokes the gong, and they like didn't know how to like get out of that scene. So it's just like very weird. <laughs> that is, that's super awkward, dude. I don't know if you've seen it. His sister has some like Instagram fame thing where she travels around the world. Really? Yeah. So I watched that recently because they Red Sox put a thing on that, and he's yeah. gone to a bunch of like places I've never even heard. That's what. Yeah, he yeah. was talking about like just traveling and stuff. It is. The people that are just famous now from Instagram is like we got how we how are we gonna get Instagram famous? I don't even know. Is that is that your goal? I don't know if that's good. I don't (laughs) like I don't think so because you end up like you read the comments and you're like, oh everyone's I'm gonna kill myself. Like I should do (laughs) Yes. Those some of these people are so dumb that they probably like if they were born at a different time would have been like drowned in rivers, but like now (laughs) because they're alive today, they're like eating cereal online and they're so famous. Yeah, they eat cereal online. It's like four hundred thousand likes. There's a kid who eats cereal, he cracks me up. My girlfriend keeps showing him to me and he just like eats and reviews cereal and he literally has one million people watching. No, I'm like, what "What is it? It's kind of electric, but I'm like, this is so stupid. Oh, we we had a dog we had a dog on a podcast with sixty thousand Instagram followers. Yeah, my dog. I did one for my dog. He's like 1,500. I have like yeah. none. <laughs> I almost was going to see if I could bring him on. I was going to say, dude, your dog's going to give you clout, right? But I think so. Joe Rogan's know. dog's got like 400,000 followers. You kind of yeah. need the followers now to be a comedian. 
to get the good gigs, right? Because so yeah, it's backwards. They actually, well, yeah, they actually take a look at it. I know when Tony V was uh, doing the Hyundai takeover for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they uh, made their decision on who's co-hosting it based on who had the most followers. Really? Yep. I, so does yeah. he have a lot of followers? Who? Uh, Tony V? No, no, no. What oh, they were looking oh, for a co-host with specifically with a lot of followers. Oh, it was yeah, an yeah, okay, yeah. let's get the funniest guy. Right. It's, we, it's weird though. It because sucks for you, huh? It's just confusing because like there there was a kid who just did Laugh Boston and headlined it, and I think he's uh, either YouTube or Instagram guy, but like yeah. he sold like he sold out. So how do you argue with ticket sales? I don't think he's not funny how many necessarily. People, how many followers does he have? Oh, like hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Oh, okay. Yep. But it is one of those things where it's like I know the people that live in Los Angeles now are auditioning for stuff, and they're like, and not even comics, just people that I know from Emerson, and they're like, uh, you have to have like fifty thousand followers Damn. before they'll even like let you audition. <laughs> but it is like from like a marketing standpoint, like they have a built-in audience. Right. You know what I mean? So exactly. like it makes sense, but it's also like so. And it's so new, like it changes week to week. So I don't even understand. Like they're just grasping at straws. Right, I right. I, I mean, because people will say, "Well, is he a comedian or a YouTube comedian?" Because yeah, there's that, all the exactly. people that call themselves a comedian You're on right. YouTube. What about the kids who are who are? What's the difference? What about the kids who are? <laughs> the difference is the YouTube people aren't stand up comedians, oh, no, and yeah. then when they try to do a live show, they fall flat on their uh, face. I did but, hear that yeah. too. Yeah, but oh. they sold out. <laughs> exactly. Whole big right. Exactly. So. so like they buy themselves. Like they're like I don't know they're fame their fame from that stuff probably like gets them a few minutes but then after a while you're like oh they're not even they're just like jumping around I remember <laughs> I saw this thing on on Netflix of these kids that aren't comedians they're not even YouTube comedians they're just like influencers mm. and they're just like good looking guys who like aren't in a, they aren't in a boy band <laughs> they're, yeah. they're like acting like they're in a boy band but they don't sing or anything and all they do is they have like hundreds of thousands of people like all over these world tours and they just throw t-shirts and like jump up and down and they're <laughs> selling out of penis it's like a, i was like so fascinated by them like they don't do anything and they're like, no, i take a picture of their own face and then like yeah like remember me from your phone <laughs> it's like how is this a thing that's it oh my god it's i don't know you know i'm an old guy when i I, I didn't even know what influencer is like a career now. Yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah, like a thing. They all seem to be self-proclaimed. Right. You yeah. know, you go <laughs> Yeah. You go onto LinkedIn or something. What's this guy? Oh, he's an influencer apparently. I know. <laughs> Should I change my LinkedIn to influencer then? Yeah, absolutely. You got to come out there and proclaim yourself one, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm like forty nine thousand nine hundred followers away. You gotta cr- you gotta crank it up. You gotta do right. something nuts. You gotta start doing stunts and stuff. I think something what, like that. What do I have to do? Right? I don't know something. <laughs> I don't know. You make a video that starts with "Watch this." Yeah, and yeah. Then things you'll go never horribly believe, wrong. You'll never yes. believe what happened next. Like something like that. Right. Yep. Kill like, like a guest or something. <laughs> like <laughs> like Matt, do Matt, something bizarre. Mad Mike Hughes probably picked up a lot of followers. Who's that? He's the guy who was a flat earther, and he built his own rocket. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he died. Did he die? He died. I just saw that. Wow. Yeah. How did he die? Yeah. Oh, my and God. So it took Fell that off the to face become... of the earth, didn't he? <laughs> Guess no. why his rocket <laughs> didn't work? Like, <laughs> I think it was a, you know, a steam-powered rocket or really? something. Really? But um, apparently, and the video's available. You see the rocket going up, and then all the parachutes being ripped off did as it goes do, up. And did he just do this on his own? You think uh, that this had to be like uh, he, he had a bunch regulated. of buddies. No, no, it didn't seem to be. I mean, he's he's had flights before. Yeah, but you know, he's got to get up there and verify that the Earth is flat. That was his plan. <laughs> that was his plan. Well, and you know, he, in my head at least, he he got to the peak and said, "Oh my God, I was wrong," and then he, <laughs> he was said, dead. Yeah, he there's said, a lot right. of there's a lot of like, I mean, growing up, everyone's like, "You can do, be anything you want." Like, no, you definitely can't. You definitely and if, can't, you, if no. you you might be able to get getting like training, like you're yeah. just like winging it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you were lied to your whole life. Yeah. yeah I'm not you gonna, can't. I'm, what am that. I going to make it to the NBA? <laughs> uh, well, this this is the most. I feel like in history, people have just been able to talk, like, and get their voice out. Normally, these people are just ignored, like, back because there's, right. there's no, like, you don't have to, like, listen. They're like, oh, what are you talking gibberish? I, you go over there. Like, yeah. <laughs> now, like, they're, what they write is somewhere. So, you, it's every YouTube video, no matter what it is, has like a th- thousands and thousands of likes and then like 
forty nine dislikes. It's right. just like a dog like eat, like eating food. And like <laughs> who doesn't like this? Right. It's very weird. <laughs> well, I mean, we got a podcast. We come up here and just talk about whatever every week. Yeah. What is the topic of this podcast? Ed? do we know yet? Whoa. We're twenty seven weeks no, in. I, <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't know what today was about. I was hoping a topic would emerge so I'd have a title. All right. For this well, I wrote I wrote down some questions to ask Jason from Ask the Internet. Let's let's start. All right. All right. Let's, let's see. All right. Number one song, if you could only have one song played at your funeral, what are you going with? Jeez. It's pretty it's pretty dark. Have you heard Roll Out by Ludacris? It's really <laughs> yeah, of old. Course, that was like yeah. my favorite song in third grade. I just heard it. I'll, that's fine. That's good, right? kind of upbeat. Like as you leave, like yeah. in the casket. I think it has a saxophone in it. Like, I think those aren't used a lot anymore. I'll do that one. Roll Out. I don't know why I had that quick. That, you did? <laughs> I don't have you know thought about, about this? That's fine. Yeah, I'll do that one. <laughs> Mine's already scheduled. Is it? Uh, Warren Zevon, Keep Me In Your Heart For A While. Oh, that's, that's a great uh, song. Is yeah. that Dave Letterman? I think played that on his last episode. Maybe. Yeah, was oh, that, that Zevon episode? Yeah, that was Warren Zevon. I think right. that was his last like song to like. Well, yeah, Zevon was big on Letterman. He yeah. filled in for Paul Schaefer. And, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He got actually a, a guest spot for the entire show. Okay. He found out he was dying and then wrote that song, right? And then yeah. died right after? Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened with yeah. Rollout. He's one is of, it? <laughs> no, Ludacris, Ludacris, is that Ludacris is good. He just has like six <laughs> kids. Devon's always been one of my favorites. Yeah, so. all right. Oh, That's yeah. a good one. So did you like write that into your will? No. Uh, I just let just people like, know. Yeah, yeah let, a, know, let a couple but, people know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I kick yeah, the bucket, you're gonna yeah. die with a bunch of CDs in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All worn Zion. Because I, I had a buddy of mine. Uh, it, he was my college roommate, kind of a lunatic from Canada. And then out of nice. the blue, he sends me an email and said, "Can I ask you to do me a favor?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Oh boy!" He's like, "I need ten thousand dollars to start I, I, I to said, start up an app." <laughs> I said, mm, "You can ask." He said, "Yeah, I need to make sure that I'm buried at sea." Okay. And I'm like, how did this become my fucking problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. He said, you can't do it just anywhere. You know, you, there are people because he's, he doesn't want to be cremated. Okay. This is a full body burial. <laughs> so he wants sea. to just dump him over the boat. I got to <laughs> somehow contract with this one captain guy and go out to international <laughs> waters. And I'm like, this is this is a, like a serious mission. Yeah, so I, I thought it over and I said, yeah, sure, but it's yeah, not sure. happening. It's never, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh what's this? What's this guy like on LSD or something? Usually, okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. Just bring me out to the, bring me out to like the middle of nowhere and just dump my body. Oh, uh, listen, he had the best ecstasy connection in the area. <laughs> is that in right? Nineteen eighty-two, before it was even on the drug schedule. Do you know personally, Ed? I know things. You know things. Okay, we'll leave it. At, we'll leave it at that. Oh yeah. All right. Question number two. You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. Armed with a baseball bat, how many ten-year-olds wearing ba- uh, wearing uh, bike helmets could you take on? Five hundred. Five hundred. You <laughs> an think so? army of them. <laughs> All right. An army of them. You know what my make a wish is? If I ever got sick, let's see. Yeah, let's see this. I think about this two times a week. <laughs> I want to play. I, before I get like sick where I can't run fast anymore, yep. I want to I want to play in a f- uh, Pop Warner football game. <laughs> okay, fully yeah. like f- <laughs> like all ten year olds. Full. I want like two hundred and fifty yards. I want to pass. I want to yeah. literally do everything. What position would you play? Running back. Everywhere. I'd have the ball every time. Yep. Probably a wildcat type situation. <laughs> Although I don't think those other kids can catch if they're like nine. That's true. So you and might I not sh- be able to throw I'll that I'll play much. linebacker. I'm going both ways. It's my last game. Right. You have, yeah, last game, <laughs> you're going to get out there. Yeah. That is my just dragon kids. So you, you just be like Ray Lewis on one side of the ball and then. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> now, Imagine. is this make a wish thing contractual? Like, let's say you're a cancer kid. Yeah. But, you know, they send you to Disney, everything's great, but then you get cured. Do you got to pay it back? Um, I, don't, I don't know. You I might. Think, I think you're not. I think you're off the hook. You I think so? I don't know. I well, feel like, like if they, you don't die, they're like, oh, <laughs> congratulations on the miraculous recovery. I think if you, you, go, to, grand. I think if you go to <laughs> if you go to Disney, you contractually have to stop treatment. Oh, really? Is that what it is? You can't get any more help. (laughs) If you survive on your own, like on your own accord, you're fine. But you have you you're not allowed to get anything. (laughs) Yeah, see, no uh, more like antibiotics. They're like, all right, buddy, we'll send you to go meet Goofy at Disneyland. (laughs) But by the way, there's no more chemo treatment. Well, (laughs) I mean, I personally would rather die than go to Disney. (laughs) Oh my! I went to Disney last year for the first time in a couple years, and it was. Terrible. Yeah, what I thought do? it was gonna like people that are adults like it a lot too. Right. It's like a I dang. just I don't know. I just I think I kept I we kept drinking at night, so I was hung over every day in Disney. Like the monorail <laughs> smells like piss. It just wasn't that fun. <laughs> it, 
wasn't as fun as I thought. And like Tomorrowland, you know that uh, at Magic Kingdom, there's like yeah, all the different lands. Like that looks like 1986. Like right. it doesn't <laughs> look like the future. It's they don't very, they didn't update. They it need at to all. update that tomorrow. It, it, feel, it literally feels like the, where I ate lunch was like the Rockingham <laughs> Racetrack. Like, this place <laughs> sucks. Every, everybody's got a flip phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not. There's just like shitty technology. <laughs> and yeah, it's supposed to be like 2050, right? Flying cars. The thing I did like though is like Magic Kingdom, they won't let like any trash be on the ground. So there's just these really? guys who are sprinting around with white gloves <laughs> on picking everything up like that falls. It's very interesting. And, and yet, that, there's human trash <laughs> all over yeah, the everywhere. place. Yeah. They're just yeah. throwing people away. This fight's breaking out. <laughs> I saw yeah, the video saw of that, that fight. That, that Holy fight. shit. Yeah. Talk about just having their hands full. They didn't know they had no idea what to do with that. That was that was wild. <laughs> yeah. Places like water country now. <laughs> oh yeah, water country was awesome. Man. Water country. <laughs> Tree, have, have some, some fun. I used to go there every summer when I was a kid. I'm Me too. Sorry. Did we you? Went. We went. Yeah, I used to go with Pat O'Leary. We go every we go every August. Yeah, he'd he'd pee on the Geronimo slide every so year. If Buford <laughs> starts talking about water country, yeah. it'll be confirmed. Then we'll know if yeah, if he has anything to say about that, we'll know what's going on here. All right, let's see. Uh, would you rather be drunk twenty four seven or never drink again? Be drunk twenty four seven. It's an easy one for you, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, to me, though, how drunk? How drunk would you be? You know what I mean? Well, you start to get disoriented. I yeah, think. you're not point. talking about degree there, right? No, so you, it's just as he could just choose to be again. pleasantly buzzed. Yeah, can yeah, you do like? Can you just have like a beer an hour forever? That right, did, that, or that are you falling good. down drunk forever? Yeah, right, that you doesn't got the seem, spins. That doesn't seem that fun. No, no that doesn't. There's not enough information to answer the uh, question intelligently. <laughs> I, I stole these all from Barstool, so blame that's them. fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you they, should just un- be more specific. You should unsanctioned. Just call us like the Barstool podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be massively they, sued. What right? are they gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah what are they gonna do? Right, <laughs> that's fine. I don't know. Well, Craig will defend us, right? Yeah, Craig. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put him up to the yeah. task. He's Craig's with, a good man. You got to just do all the work up front to defend yourself. So by the time like they see it and they're mad, you yeah. already have like all and these weapons ready. I can like patent it against. <laughs> yeah. them. Really, you, you've got a lawyer who's been inside. That's so true. Yeah, he he knows how to fight. You know what you need? It doesn't you need, get much better. You need bar stool, but one of the O's is a zero. Right, right. That would so be you're different. Good. You're good. As long as they haven't patented <laughs> that, right? I don't think they did. No. That'd I'm be a shock. That'd right? be psychotic <laughs> for them to have that. Maybe. Gronk did that. He patented like everything that was like anywhere near I, Gronk. Oh, maybe they did that. Connor, Gronk was also a genius. I got some advice for you. What's that? Don't take legal advice from Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's I, like, trust me, I know these uh, things. Well, the way I figure it <laughs> is you just change it to a zero and you're good. Yeah. Fun fact, I did get into law school. Right. Me didn't go. Yeah. Me too. Did you? For, for Suffolk, half a was it? Suffolk. Yeah. I got into New England School of Law, though, and then yeah. I did Nick's Comedy Stop in August, and they were right next to each other, and I was yeah. like, I had this, I was like, wow, this is so much cooler than going to that stupid place. <laughs> yeah, I know, no shit. <laughs> this is way less shit. I, than going I almost to law went school. there as well, but that's how I met Craig. I met Craig in law school. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. Really? Yeah. And he fin- did he finish? He finished. Oh, yeah, yeah he's got his own practice yeah. now, the whole wow. thing. That's cool. I, yeah. I, I think I even commented on that uh, during the podcast yeah. that- Wow, he really seems more successful than you do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, sit- I'm sitting here with you guys doing a podcast on Wednesday nights. He's he's out there defending whoever, su- suing somebody. All right, speaking of a drinking one, what would you rather do this weekend if you had to? Run a marathon 26 miles or drink 26 beers? I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> this whole weekend? No, in one day. You gotta, I think you gotta, you gotta do it like Saturday. I, I like really can't run. Someone invited me to Anthony Cameratopoulos invited me. I think he's doing like a. Um, he does know, it for fun though, right? I think he's doing like a a fundraiser for the Boston Marathon or something. He's like, Yo. we're gonna run four miles. I was like, why am I involved? In that <laughs> part I, I want to come hang out with you. I don't yeah. want to do the running part. <laughs> You're being yeah. punished. Uh, See, I, I wouldn't run to catch a bus. Another one will come along. Oh, that's I true. Hate, I, I hate. I can't do any. Well, you'd of that have to stuff. walk or walk or run. You have to get to 26 miles at 26 beers. Yeah, I mean, walking it's probably not. That I don't know. Crazy. Right? Why How not, long would that take to walk 26 why miles? Why not combine it? What yeah. if you could? Exactly. Yeah. Take 13 your, beers, 13 miles? I mean, drink two of them, grab the case, and start walking. Yeah. I mean, even 13 beers, 13 miles would be kind of I tough, got in right? an argument, a pretty big that. argument with my girlfriend uh, a couple <laughs> years ago because I said that I could, uh, like, off the couch, rollerblade, obviously, the marathon in, like, two seconds. It was so easy. <laughs> and she was like, no, you couldn't. It's going to get blisters and stuff. I was like, or 
or maybe it was a bike. I was like, I could drive bike 26 miles right now. It's you could. A, bi- <laughs> I think a, it's bike's, like a, a bike's way I think different. It, it might have been rollerblades. So. Rollerblades, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I might have said I could run it. I'm not sure. Rollerblade. It's pretty fast. <laughs> I, don't know. I know when my brother was at college, he competed in a lot of relay races. Right. And you don't pass the baton. You just got to chug a beer before the next guy can start running. <laughs> Is that how it works? A lot of puking. Okay, oh, that would yeah. that would make sense. It was a messy event. Yeah. <laughs> That was the college was a messy event as well. <laughs> All right, I got another one for you. You think you can mo- roll a blade a uh, marathon? Can you throw a football further than the 1940 Heisman winner? They couldn't throw it far back then, right? I'll answer a weirder question. <laughs> I would have won the women's Olympics in the hundred meter, <laughs> in the hundred meter dash until 19. 19- 94, I think my time <laughs> would have won. A fact? Yep, it's a real fact. You were, did you run that? In and like also, high I can throw football. Really <laughs> <long>. <laughs> yeah, I ran the 100 in high school, and then I looked up my time, and I could have, I would have won the women's. Even now, I would come in sixth, and I like in the last Rio games, I would have been a sixth fastest woman in the world. Have you thought about doing it? And I tried, I tried to write a stand up joke that was like, that means only five women can outrun me in the yeah. whole world. I'm like, this isn't going to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't going to work. <laughs> like, never, we'll the, never bring this, this era. guy back. Wait, so, so, that's, a, so that's a fact? Yeah, I yeah. What if you what if you would have turned into a woman and then run it? Uh, I don't know. Have you thought about it? Seems it? like this question seems like a trap. <laughs> you, could, you could be an Olympian. <laughs> Cancelled right across my forehead. Yeah. Oh. Um. But yeah, no. That's. But I do think I could. How far could they throw footballs? I don't know. I remember that I got Maybe not as far as they can. Now, I, had, right? I had a physical with a uh, with a doctor a couple years ago, and he was like. He was like, I played football at Notre Dame. He goes, but we weren't big. He's like, I was a linebacker. He was, we weren't big like you are now. I'm like, I'm <laughs> not big. <laughs> like, imagine you I was like, who played size? a football? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm not bi- a big person. What are you talking about? And he's just like, yeah, that's like anyone could play. <laughs> now they breed him for it. Now it's you got to oh, be it's, like, yeah. like, look at Aaron Donald. He looks non-human. They're so big. It's, it's ridiculous. Crazy. Yeah, I mean. And then you're not talking accuracy, right? I mean, Joe yeah. Flacco could throw it really far, but not to anyone in no, particular. That's very yeah. true, because that's all it asked is how far, because it yeah. didn't say anything about accuracy. No, he could throw far. Oh, Joe, Joe Flacco could throw far. And he got a big contract, and then he sucked for the rest of eternity. And, think, and now he's a liability. I think those guys' arms get him in trouble, though. They're so good at, like, they can throw it so fast and so far that, like, like that's why Brady has an a good arm, but it's nothing crazy. So he always had to make good decisions. Where right. like Jameis Winston just hums it. He does. Cam, dude. like all those guys. Sidearm like, yeah. over the shoulder. Yeah, yeah we'll sneak it in. Jameis yeah. Winston, 400 <laughs> yards, three touchdowns, four picks. That's right. If you <laughs> they watch, lost 35 31. If you watch like the, uh, like that thing they do before the Pro Bowl where they have like all the skills competitions, yeah. those guys, some of them don't score. Right. They're like, they go and they go, they get so frustrated during it, too. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. And the Pro Bowl just means nothing. You know? That too, yeah. yeah that whole, every, that whole everyone's game. going wild. I don't even think I've ever seen a snap of the Pro Bowl before. No, I've barely watched yeah. it. It's basically like flag football. No one wants to hit each other. Yeah. Everyone right. takes it easy. Right? They should go to the Pro Bowl and uh, get a career-ending injury. Yeah, imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> in, a game that in a game that doesn't matter when there's no money to be made. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question here. Let's do it. Would you be on How to Catch a Predator for $4 million? Do I get to host? No, you have to be oh, caught. You oh. have to be caught. Like you have to come in, like with the pizza, and like then what's the guy? Is it Chris Hansen? Is that his yeah. name? Yes, he 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 comes out the cut and is like, "How you doing?" <laughs> but it doesn't say if you go to jail or not, right? Yeah, because if you go to jail for a long time, it might not be worth it. But four million dollars just to be seen everywhere, and they think that's no. basically four million dollars to say that like you're a diddler, right? I don't know. It's tough. I don't think I would because the internet spread uh, so far. Yeah, your life is basically ruined. But if you have $4 million, you don't need to work anymore. I would kill a guy for $4 million before, <laughs> before I do that. Do that? <laughs> they asked, uh, my girlfriend got messaged on Instagram for her and I to be on that show called, they like saw a picture. This is how they cast these shows. Yep. To uh, be on that show, Temptation Island. Oh, really? Which is just you. <laughs> I go to a house filled with girls and she goes to a house filled with guys. And if we don't, bang anybody i guess we're still going out what? i was like how is this even a show and she already knew it she like liked the show she like yeah. knew what it was and she was like we shouldn't go and then i go obviously not well you're not gonna do it no what's the show pay i would do it if i was gonna do it i would just be like i would just play rules of different the different shows i'd be like i think we should vote off mike like, we don't do that this is not this show yeah there's no voting yet let's get rid of this guy you know at a company i was at we were having a layoff and HR was all somber and they're in the room and they're saying, okay, so we got to go through and evaluate people and decide who's staying, who's going to say, that's a lot of trouble. Here's what we do. We bring the whole team in 
And we do it like Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> let the, the team knows who the weakest link is, That's true. right? And oh. let them vote people off the island. And people then, would turn on each other in a <laughs> second. Now, now, that would have been fun. HR ladies just staring at me. I said, no, this isn't so crazy. I don't think we need a, a tiki torch. You could just use a candle and <laughs> snuff the candle out and they're gone. That would have been perfect. Oh, I would have loved it. So we're going to look for you on Temptation Island, though. I'm not that would be that. good for your stand-up career, man, right? I don't think it would. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> for like an hour. Yeah. yeah they'd be like, you hey, you're the kid from Temptation Island. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, you do comedy yeah. now? And Game ne- like 40. Next up is Jay Martin, star of Temptation, Temptation Island. Island. Yeah. And a really funny guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how did you get paralyzed with Temptation Island? Right <laughs> you guys don't want to know. <laughs> you don't know what happens out there. Ed, you have anything to add? Oh, wow. We've covered it all. We covered it all. I, I don't think there's another thing to be said. Jason wants to send Jackie Bradley Jr. to Temptation <laughs> Island. <laughs> yeah. Never to be returned. <laughs> heard, heard from I'll again. I'll send him anywhere. That's fine. I mean, he, he can be on my softball team, but he will not bat in the top five. <laughs> no way, dude. He's, he's, he's like the bottom of the lineup. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jackie, he hustles. He's going to play every game. He's going to start, but he's seventh. He, he'd have to like bunt a lot. <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything. Just get the ball and play. Yeah, yeah, he's one exactly. of those guys. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you next week for the big announcement. Listen up. It's going to be huge. 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 Is that how they say it? Just tune in. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.